Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 183. You got the Nasdaq up 110. S&Ps are up 33. Let's go to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, what Basil's doing this afternoon, right after my show at 4 o'clock from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, he's going to be doing a great web for, webinar for all his subscribers. And you can be a subscriber right now, right here, folks, okay? The webinar is going to go for an hour and a half. Bottom line, if you're a subscriber to his opening call, you're going to get... Not only a great newsletter for the month, you're going to get a great webinar. He has about uh, additional uh, 10 webinars probably up there. And if the newsletter works for you, folks, that's great. If it doesn't work for you 30 days from now, you get your money back. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, let me, he'll, we're going to bring him on. He can tell you what this webinar is going to be all about. Couldn't be a better time for a webinar, that's for sure. Basil Chapman, what's going on, man? Well, what's going on is uh, we've got, what is it, uh, th 35, 40 minutes to go? That's and then right. we hit that webinar. I'm looking forward to it because, as you said, this is a perfect time. And I, I set this up saying I know that it's going to be a good time, but that's not the issue. The issue that I wanted to um, really deal with was what do you do now? You know, there are a lot of people that kind of lightened up, and we had lightened up going into that August the 16th high in the Dow, and uh, we were lucky to get some shorts on the downside. Everything worked out well. And as we came into the uh, lows that were made around about the 20th of September, there was a bounce and then a retest. And we decided that um, at this point, no shorts at all. We wanted to go to the long side to see whether or not these lowercase h patterns that I'll be talking about in my webinar can turn into a break of this green and red down little mini down channel that I call the inside track repellent zone. And look how many times the Dow got repelled and then it broke out. So we, we were buying the diamonds for quick trades and then we got stopped out for, for a gain as they pulled back. Then we got back in. We just missed this one, this big green bar right here. That was four days ago. But we did manage to go along at, at the, as the market dipped yesterday. I had an indicator that said there should be an early morning, uh, early morning weakness to negative in the Dow. We we're able to go along the Dow. So once again, besides our core position that we have from April of last year, just, just off the lows, we actually got the day of the low with options. And then we also kept the option, then bought the diamonds. So we still have that core position. We added to it um, yesterday morning and keep treating it as a trade right now because uh, we're really close to an all-time high. This is where you expect some kind of resistance at 35,631. We're trading at 35,439. So I thought the best thing, since we're just about to go to the webinar, is it's so difficult for people listening to say, so what does he do? And what does it mean? I, you know, it's, it's like I, I was a professional um, clarinetist uh, way, way back. Um, it's your last concert is what what is really important. Nobody cares about anything. That's what's important. So I'm saying, well, what would people want to know? So I spoke to you about two weeks ago. I said, we've gone long. Um, general dynamics. It just fitted the whole series. And this is what we're trying to look at. What should be good for the rest of 2020 into yes. 2021? And I, it seemed to me aerospace was one of the areas. So we went along uh, general dynamics. This was on the 7th of October at 199.38. It's trading right now. Uh, 209.03 was the highest at 208.90. Uh, and this is the pattern. I look at the cup pattern. That's what we're beginning to study. We're looking at the Chapman inside track repellent zone. This is that little dashed green line. That's your target area. We're right there now. He has another one in the weekly chart. I also spoke to you. I said that we went long PayX. And uh, PayX is yeah, a right. PAYX is the symbol. Oops, I should have hidden it. Put into the right category right there PAYX. And we went long in the 113 area. Here it is at 121. We were long on the 5th of October. And here it is two weeks later, and we are in leg B at 121. So there are specific ideas that I have for this particular phase. We've got, we've been very fortunate. Yeah, that paychecks is a nice ABC up too, man. That's and, 
Yeah, I, I, you know, we were looking at it together. I agree. And look at the monthly chart in leg D, but nothing here is weak about this leg D. And this is a beautiful pattern that I'll be teaching this chapter with little falling axis, uh, expanding cone formation. If you can identify these and get the breakout, look at that beautiful move to the upside. We actually saw that in the Dow. We're seeing it now in the S&P, and even the Qs are doing that. So it's very specific, specific this move. We, we're rolling into different sectors. We also went along the GDX. I spoke to you about it the other day. I said, you know, this is the pattern. This is the upside down pattern that we were talking about, that falling X. And it did a one-to-one -one in the weekly chart. I like the fact that the GDX has moved, had been moving up. Not gold. I prefer if gold sort of follows. This is my own belief. You're the expert, but this is where I look at it. I like it when the miners start to move because it says there's something going on there. If they just stall and gold moves, gold's more a fear factor than anything else. This is where they're moving together. So far, this is good. So this is a very nice time because I have now, I'm starting to include going back to some very low price stocks that I think have the chance to move as well. This is a perfect time for, for this. And even the stocks that we've just entered, they look like they're fairly early in this move. So there's always a chance to add to it. I think this is a very nice time to be looking freshly at the market. And there is a turnaround. And when you've got the Dow almost two, just under 200 points away from an all-time high, that is remarkable action. I mean, wow. Yeah, there's no doubt. And, folks, it's very easy to come into Basil's newsletter. So come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the uh, opening call. You're going to see him right on the featured content for the webinar today. Uh, you're going to subscribe to his newsletter. It's $149 for one month. It's $6.95 for six months. You save $199 bucks at 22%. You can get it for a year for $11.95. You save $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you come over. You subscribe. If it works for you, great. Bottom line, if it doesn't work for you for some reason, you get your money back, you come into a great new um, webinar, and you learn how to ride that Chapman wave. And Basil has a huge amount of other webinars out there that you're going to be able to take advantage of. Uh, Basil, off, uh, this is off, off topic, okay, because I know you're getting ready for your webinar, but I just got to get this feedback from you. Um, prices, rising prices, what are you hearing when you're out there in, in the world? Well, it's, it, that's very interesting because this is the first time that I'm hearing from people who really just don't discuss prices because, you know, they live within their means and whatever it sure, is, right. that's fine. But all of a sudden they say, you know, I can't believe the And then they name the prices. Well, you and I have been talking about prices. I mean, just like uh, some cheese products that you would pay 225 or something for uh, a year and a half ago, jumped to three something, and now they're at four. So they're, this is just cheese. I mean, yeah. this is processed cheese. <laughs> so right. I don't, this is, it, it's affecting everyone, but it's really the price of gas. And I'll be talking about that as well because the, the oil service sector has done well. We, we've sort of skipped that sector. We're going to be looking for the next pullback there to start positions. So I, I think this is something we have to take seriously, um, just to be aware of that prices have every, every single thing you, you look at. The There's price no is doubt. Different. I mean, oil is high. Just so, just so you can wrap your head around this, folks, okay? So from August 23rd to now, oil uh, bottom line went up $20 a barrel. $20 a barrel. I mean, that affects every it's like a yeah. tax. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one, and uh, you are going to be live in 34 minutes, and I can't looking wait. Looking forward to it. It should be great. Totally, Thank man. You so have much a great fun. one. Have a safe one. You're Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.